What's up preppers? Welcome back to another video. Just another space weather update. Obviously we're not doing the live monitoring at the moment. Why are we not doing the live monitoring when there's so many flares? Because they're not facing us. Okay, so every man, dog, prepper, news channel, fear monger has jumped on the fact that we had an X 8.6 class solar flare released from the sun. Sounds scary. So it goes great in titles and on thumbnails but it wasn't facing us it might produce auroras some amazing sights but not for us for the red planet so if you happen to be at mars tomorrow evening on the 17th then you might see auroras so martians keep looking to the skies hopefully get some good displays I, i'm not joking either it literally it was pointing directly at mars so they will catch the auroras from this um obviously no effects to us but nasa's got the maven spacecraft which may be able to observe the display so we'll keep an eye out for any sort of footage coming from there because that could be cool to experience the auroras from another planet um now there's all sorts of m classes being released from these spots coming across the sun so I'll pull up the sunspots now. You look at this. This is unreal for the amount. None of them was quite as big as the one that passed recently. Um, the 3676 from the bottom right there, and you work your way across. There's all little bits. 3679, the lower left quarter there, seems to be the largest. Now that's quite large, and it's a large singular spot compared to the one that we've just lost which was a lot more smaller ones but in a cluster now this can grow this can develop as it comes across and it will be earth facing all the way across to the right side so we'll keep a close eye on that one it's got the right measurements to release x-class flares but there's only seven sunspots on there as opposed to 20 plus that was on the previous one so not as urgent that we start monitoring that straight away, but I will keep a close eye on it. If it starts to get more active, we'll pop the streams up. Coming around the crest on the left-hand side is quite a larger population of them. Um, you can only see the very edge on this picture at the moment, but as that comes around, that will probably be the biggest cluster that we've got facing us. Um, so again, we'll keep a close eye on that one for you. Now, my worry is none of these we will look at a rear facing picture so this is the far side picture um so you can see on the lower right here this dark spot um in that on that right hand side i hope it's right hand side on your screen the way i'm looking at it just below the nisp logo that big dark patch is the one that just passed that released that huge x8 class flare um that's now going behind the earth side is what you can see in the center and now my worry is to the left hand side is the far side that's coming look at the size of that one compared to the one that's just left that released that nearly x9 flare and this is bigger just through sonar could close up a bit as it comes round. it could open up even more as it comes down round. but that looks to me like either a big cluster or a big sunspot that could be coming round in the next week or so so we are monitoring this closely every day watching the different sonar readings comparing them back to back to see if we're getting any sort of growth um, from that so that's it everything else is relatively quiet at the moment um don't panic when you see somebody say an x-class flare is being released you need to really look into it we'll let you know if it's facing us we'll let you know if it's a big cme as soon as possible um even if it's quickly i've got to put a shot on using my phone because i'm out and about i will still let you know um space weather live do an app on iphone and android um download that it's good um i, I don't like it it's a bit ad heavy for me but it's an option there for you as well to keep an eye on it. But just stay away from the fear-mongering people. <laughs> uh, 
as much as possible. I do prep for this situation. I do prep for a potential Carrington event. It is one of the main reasons I started prepping. The fact that then preps translate over to an EMP or something like that or nuclear um, after effects is just coincidence and it does help just in case anything else happens but this was the main reason i started so i do keep a close eye on it hope it never happens but yeah keep watching uh thanks for watching the video guys any questions pop them in the comments as usual um don't forget like subscribe all that wonderful stuff consider becoming a member uh, the members, the small donations I get from members really does help the channels keep going, helps me keep doing content, and keeps me motivated. So consider that. Um, till then, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.